Welcome to episode 5 of It's All Over 4, insert driver name here, or is it? So, Lewis Hamilton, very heartbreaking race for him as we know. I mean, I don't have to go over it again. We all know what happened. Toto Wolf has caused a bit of, you know, a bit of a storm. I mean, definitely from what I saw going on on the socials last night. I mean, very, very cryptic sort of message from Toto in the press conference saying that he hopes Lewis continues with Formula One, sort of hinting, you know, is he considering his options? Now, this is all obviously a guessing game. We still haven't heard from Lewis yet. As of the making of this video, that could all change really at any time. I'm sure that he is still processing everything because when you kind of go through something like this, I'm sure that, you know, heat of the moment things, you kind of, you, it's probably a safer option just to wait digest it properly, and then maybe speak on it later when you've, you know, had a, had a bit of time to think. He was also knighted this week as well, so it has been a big week uh, for Sir Lewis Hamilton. One thing that is interesting to me was the statements from Susie Wolf and Mercedes after they kind of withdrew their appeal from the FIA. Talking about Lewis in those statements, it just gave me a weird vibe. It almost felt like they were saying not goodbye, more, you know, farewell sort of thing. See you soon. But with all this outside noise going on, and especially with what Toto Wolf said, I'm sure that this is kind of, I'm just hyping it up in my head. I'm sure a lot of people are, and it's probably nothing to be worried about. In saying that, Lewis does have a lot going on off track. We know he's involved in various different things. He has other interests and other passions away from Formula One. Think of all the hard work that a driver does during a season, especially when you're fighting for a championship, not just the physical work, but all the mental preparation, everything like that. You put so much of your time, effort, and energy into one thing and having it pretty much taken from you, I think that would be very disheartening and I think it would hurt quite a lot. But is it enough to fall out of love with the sport and just call it quits? I'm not too sure about that. Now, I did want Max to win the championship. I think that him and Red Bull fully deserved it. Absolutely. But either way, I think what happened during that race, it was pretty shocking. In saying all of this, Lewis Hamilton didn't fall off. He was just, you know, it was just a crazy circumstance and, you know, a decision that was made that literally, you know, it, it decided the championship. I think Lewis is still in his prime, obviously, and I think he can win more championships. As we know, this series does involve, you know, speaking in hypotheticals, kind of guessing what's going to happen or what could happen. But what Toto Wolf said, it just, it just felt weird and it felt warranted to make this. Who knows? I could post this video and then literally five minutes later, Lewis could post, you know, something on Instagram saying, congratulations to Max, bring on 2022, I look forward to it, whatever. And then, you know, that's it. I did post on Twitter saying that I don't think he will retire. I think that this sort of thing will only motivate him, give him more reason to win another title. And I do hope that that is the case because it would be pretty awful to see a Formula One driver retire from the sport because of something like this. It would be a real shame. I think that Lewis is a better driver when he is challenged, when he's under pressure, and when he's faced with adversity. I think he has proven that throughout his career. I think it's incredibly impressive that he can have so much going on outside of Formula One, whether it be his activism, fashion, events, being on TV, music, all these different things going on, but he still manages to be, you know, the best Formula One driver in the world. I think that is a testament to his hard work and not just that, but his dedication and of course the talent that he has. What happens now? Well, nothing. We wait, we speculate, uh, we kind of go from what we have seen and what is available. It would be very crazy if Lewis retired. I would be shocked, I, I'll admit it, I would be pretty shocked because I don't think he will retire. Toto has kind of rocked the ship a little bit, but nothing is certain in life and maybe that's all he kind of meant by making that comment. Lucky there is an asterisk in this series because a lot of the time, you know, these videos are pretty, you know, 
they're, they're, they're off, let's be honest. Now, I do need to address this series. That reminds me because in my last video, uh, it's all over for Max Verstappen, I had a lot of people tell me that I turned off the dislike button. Now, that is not possible. I did not do that. I just happened to drop that video on the day that YouTube removed the dislike button. So, uh, if anyone thought that I did that, Definitely wasn't me. It's something that YouTube have done, so I hope that clears it up. That is it for episode five of It's All Over 4, or is it? Feel free to follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. So head over there. Uh, you might see something uh, before it gets uploaded. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload and you won't miss a thing. And with all that being said, thank you very much for watching.